Did you see this? That's culture. Good afternoon, everybody. Banyarwanda, Banyarwanda Kazi, and especially friends of Rwanda. Those who speak the language of Rwanda and those who do not speak the language of Rwanda. Good afternoon. So I was checking what is going on at home in Rwanda. It's late at night. And I saw a few people complaining that we are showcasing our culture in English, in a foreign language. So I want to tell those at home who feel we should be doing everything in Kenya Rwanda that uh, I am fully immersed in Rwandan culture and just happen to speak English. <laughs> I was asked to do an introduction this afternoon, both to the theme of this very special day, but also to the panel that is about to start a good debate up here. And I thought my introduction should be really to, to reflect, to ask questions, so that the very interesting people that are going to be seated here shortly can give us some of the answers. Why did we want to talk about our culture? Why do we have this special Rwanda Day as a cultural day? And I think besides the fact that we are in California and in San Francisco, where there is a lot of value in culture, we thought that we need to explore ourselves, for ourselves and our friends and those who know us as a people and as a country, who we are, what we think, why we think the way we think, our language, why we say certain things, and why do we say certain things a certain way? What is it in us? that defines us? What are the traits that Rwandans can be identified by and identified with? So we, we are looking at culture as more than the dance, the song, the poetry, the important rituals of life that we just witnessed here the whole ceremony of marriage, the dispute resolution that we saw amongst the community members, the life that we see in our dancers, the choreography, what are our values? Where do we come from? Why are we where we are today and why are we so ambitious to go even further? So this is going to be a very honest introspection. This is going to be an exchange, trying to understand what our culture is. And you know, the whole definition of culture itself is something we want to hear the experts talk about. Is it just performance, cultural performance? Is it just the way we gesture? Many people say that we Rwandans are very discreet, sometimes too discreet for our own good. Sometimes people even mistake that for hypocrisy. We, we look like we're too quiet and therefore we're hiding something. So who really are we? 
And what is it that we share? What is it that we don't share with others? This is really what we're trying to share with you this afternoon. I, um, I was very intrigued but by what many of you thought about the performance we just saw beyond the brochure on your chair and um, the, some of the translation. I was just wondering, are those who are not familiar with us and our rituals and our lifestyle really getting a clear sense of what was going on? So we will have time to quiz you. Yes. But uh, culture is something really important. It's really important. And what we're trying to examine with the panel in particular is how who we are influences how we advance ourselves, our country, how we move together as a nation, and how we relate with others. So I, I just thought I should whet your appetite here and then uh, ask those who, were, um, those who are expected to come up here and, and start the discussion, join me here so that we, we can try to give you some answers. So I call, I call here the panelists so that we can start giving these answers to the many, many questions I've just posed and others I'll be asking um, in a moment. So can the panel join us up here, please? And by the way, what you see here is not a Rwandan hut. This is the outside of the home. This is the homestead, what we call Urugo, Imbuga. This is where most people, especially in the old days, but also today, sit and exchange and do chores uh, at home. And this is a very important space. But so is inside the house, how the family gets together. The evenings of exchange and song and dance and poetry and the sharing of daily life amongst family members.